In this video, we'll make a heart-shaped jewelry box with a rounded top. We'll use the loft tool to round the top. To loft, you need a bunch of profiles. I made one ellipse with this ellipse tool in the sketch menu, copied it with Ctrl C and Ctrl V multiple times, then selected each one, right-clicked, and scaled it with the scale tool. Now all of these ellipses have to be rotated. You do that with the Move tool. They have to be rotated individually. You can't select them all and rotate them because here's what will happen. When you try to rotate them, you'll get one box gizmo and they'll rotate together and that's because they're all on the same sketch plane. So rotate each one individually. When you're done, you're ready to loft. Lofting will look different depending if you loft them all together or two and three at a time. Now, if you loft a few at a time, choose the new solid option. Make sure you're selecting both the outline and the face, and then loft them. So you could do two at a time, three at a time, and that will give you a different effect than all of them at one time. To do all of them at one time, you have to select them separately. Hold down the shift key. The selection window will not work. And again, make sure that you've selected both the sketch and the face or the tool will not work. Choose loft. And there we go. That will be the shape of the top of the jewelry box. You can turn off the sketches if you think you'll need them later. If you don't, just delete them. Now let's import an SVG of a heart, an SVG file. We'll bring it in as a sketch and there you go. We'll need to scale it down or we could scale the lofted shape up. Doesn't matter because we can scale the whole thing to the size we want when we're done. I'm scaling it by typing a number or I could just move that arrow. Now I'll move the heart to position it over the lofted shape. Looks like it still needs a bit of scaling down. then select and move it into place. Now I'm going to extrude it through that lofted shape and I chose intersect as the option so that everything outside of the touching pieces would disappear. And there is my lofted heart shape. Now I just need to cut it in half and shell each part. I'm going to put it in orthographic mode to make it easier to work with. And you see I've got a primitive in there, a cube. I'm going to use that to sketch the split line when I split this solid in half. 
So go to the polyline, click on the cube to get a vertical sketch plane, draw the line, and that's your split line. Now go to split solid. For body to split, click on the heart. Splitting onto T is that line. And see where that plane is? You've just split it in half. Click on the canvas to finish. And now I've got two parts. Then I'll move one part up to make them easier to work on. Now select the bottom, the face, and then choose Shell, and then type a thickness that you want. Or just pull the arrow to that thickness. Do the same at the top. It's easier if you turn the grid off so you can see. Shell this out. Choose a thickness. And there you have it, a lofted top jewelry box. can delete what you don't need, and this is just about ready for 3D printing.